Hi guys, we are talking about the most important family in a gemstone world. It's a corundum family, which contains the king and queen of gemstones as a ruby and sapphire. Chemical composition of corundum aluminum oxide with the chromium elements in a ruby and titanium and iron in sapphire. Crystal of corundum have prismatic shape with six faces. Sapphire usually grow like a burrow. Ruby crystal can be tabular, usually with a shorter crystal formation. Corundum is a double recreative with strong or light pleochroism. Very important things about corundum, it's the second hardest substance on the planet. It's only second to diamond. It's really impossible to scratch. Corundum refractive index is 1.78. Sapphire, bright, vitreous, luster, great sparkle. It's a very heavy mineral. Specific gravity, almost four. Primary deposit of sapphires, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks. Corundum family actually been found for centuries in many, many places on our planet. Super gem quality corundum as sapphire or rubies are extremely rare and found only in few places. In Mozambique, Madagascar, Burma, India, Sri Lanka, even Australia, Tanzania, America, even in Greenland. Any gem quality sapphires are precious. But creme de la creme of all corundum family, of course, it's ruby, red. And it occurs in a few places on the planet and it's super rare king of the gem. Natural pink sapphire, clean, crystal, beautiful, vivid pink. It's a super collectible and incredible gemstone. True connoisseur gemstone though, Pat Paraja is a combination of pink and orange in the same stone, which should make it absolutely magnificent as every single sunset or sunrise we see in our life. Of course, we have a historical color sapphire, like a yellow sapphire, purple sapphire. Lately, we discover incredible green sapphire in Madagascar and many other option of rainbow of sapphire been found on this planet. Once in my life, I found a bicolor sapphire in Burma. It was half pink, half blue. Another bicolor sapphire I found in Sri Lanka, but it was a half yellow, half blue. It's happened historically, few mines are very important due to the historical situation. Burma is extremely important for sapphire. Kashmir is one of the most important mines in the 19th century. Sri Lanka. One other interesting magic thing about rubies, it's an origin. People believe if it's come from Burma, it's a top of the king and it's the Everest of the old jungles. But usually in corundum crystal, they have a rutile needles. If you do a cabochon in specific crystal, sometimes we get incredible effect like a stars or even a cat's eye. Precious corundum, it's one of the most complicated subject in gemology, in gem trade, on the market, prices, chemical composition, origin, treatments are super complicated. So today we was just talking about the basic things on corundum. And let us leave more detailed stuff for the next time.